like they're in their baby holder, but like their dad looked like Secret Service. So cute. Welcome to Hanging Line Productions, the channel where anything goes. Be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Hey guys, it's Nicole back with another Copy Talk and Trendy Trending Trends. So uh, this week I'm going to be bringing to you guys our week themed about costumes. As you can see, I'm dressed in my costume. I'm an animal. Here we go. Cute, right? Before we get too into it, I want to mention two things to you guys. First of all, if you haven't already, go ahead and like, subscribe, and share. You want to do us all a favor and hit that bell. Second thing, um, just want to bring to you guys here, you can see I'm filming in the bird room today. I'm a freak show. This is why I sit in my owl costume in my bird room. But this is their enclosure. I felt, I couldn't find a cage actually big enough that I felt that they could fly around and everything like that. So I got the, the enclosure. Wow, pretty birds. Beautiful. Okay, so today, like I said, we're going to be going over some trending costumes uh, for 2017. Some of them new, some of them old and revived. So, here we go. First things first, I saw so many trending costumes for 2017, new costumes that were Star Wars. We've gone sexy with Star Wars. With I actually haven't seen any of the Star Wars movies or shows or anything like that, so... I'm kind of out of that. Oh. Um, also, pretty much saw some other costumes that were based on movies that came out this year. Um, so I also did some research on some funny costumes that people made um, themselves. myself this one was an exception I had I had to go for the full length there we go nice this is an attractive suit I'm just gonna say it there were quite a few costumes that I saw that were something that you do yourself and most of them I've discovered were the cutest were babies I saw this one costume that somebody made that was their baby that looked like a homeless person, like tiny ripped jeans, little beard, and said, will work for candy on it. So, I, <laughs> I don't know, that's, I, that's funny, it's crossing the line, but... I don't think so. I can't say I wouldn't do it to my kid. And when they're too young to really know what they want to be, I feel like you get to use that as leverage to have a funny baby costume. Also, I saw little um, little presidential candidate babies. I'll include a photo here. Okay, guys, now that I'm in my costume, real quick, I just wanted to go over something. I don't know if you guys know, I know that I say things about it here and there, but, like, I'm a total caffeine junkie. I love coffee. Not really soda that much. Pretty much anything that will make you caffeinated. Hyperactive. Espresso. Chocolate. Anything like that. Whatever. So, I was at the store, and I saw this alert caffeine gum. Right? And naturally, I'm like, I love being hyperactive. I need this. So, whatever. $2.96. But, we're gonna check it out. One piece is equal to 40 milligrams of caffeine. So, like, half of a, half of a cup of coffee. Okay. Mmm. Sprout. Sprout. Come to bird time. Come to bird time. Mm -mm -mm. Come here, bird. <gasps> bird. Who's a bird? Bird. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yes. Caffeine time. Ah. 
All right, so just want to say thanks again, guys, for joining me for my trendy coffee talk and trending trendy costume trends for 2017 and my review of this highly delicious, incredibly energetic alert caffeine gum, which I will be investing in in my future because I love activities and it gives you energy for activities. Okay, you guys will join us later this week. Um, we are going to be doing costume trends all week this week, um, going to Halloween. Also, in the next 15 days or so leading up to Halloween, you can also look forward to all kinds of fun stuff. Um, we're going to be eating a whole bunch more candy. We're going to be doing more decorating. We're going to carve pumpkins, have more games. So I really hope that, like I said, if you guys haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Like, so, again, thanks for coming, guys. We'll see you next time. Peace.